learn to recognize weak areas by some non-experienced method. I don't know. But yeah, I think it's mostly experience. I'm having to hit it pretty hard because of those really thick uh, ground edges. But again, indirect percussion is good for for stability because you're you're uh, really focusing a lot of force with a hard point to uh, break the surface tension and, and it initiates the flake easily. So you're not putting a lot of shock. You're not shocking this. Uh, workpiece very much. So like here, you know, I'm, I've already started with a fresh edge and I can continue zigzagging in here and that's what I'm going to do. coming up to a thick spot so I'm preparing for a large flake here it's kind of crushed so I'm just going to abrade that abrade it so that that crushing goes away a lot of you guys have this issue where you know you keep pressure flaking or striking and it's not removing the flake you just got to try to uh, catch an area that's relatively weak and that your tool sits well on you don't need a lot of force I mean you are gonna I am gonna use a, 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 a good strike to hit that but it's not like using a, a mallet that's three times as heavy as this and holding it really still you know with a lot of clamping force here. I'm not doing that. I'm going to strike it hard and fast and I'm going to break the surface tension quickly and all that energy is going to go into this flake instead of all the energy going into these forces that cause the initiation. Um, you know, if I have like a soft flaker I'm going to need to, you know, apply pressure beforehand, hold it very firm, use a large striker and hope I can break that surface tension with uh, the least you know, amount of force that will not snap the point. But in this case, the way I do it, small point of contact, hard point, very fast snappy type of hit so that I can break the surface tension easily and then run that flake with most of the energy that's left over. I just snapped hit that thing. Not much shock in the hand. I didn't grip it really hard, although I did firm up my grip. Uh, kind of like when you shoot an arrow out of a bow, you'll firm up your grip and and make your arm rigid. It's kind of like what I'm doing there. Okay, then I'll move over to this next opportunistic spot. Same thing. I firmed up everything here hit it with a, a nice snappy strike and most of the energy goes into removing that flake without much energy being used in you know breaking that surface tensile strength I think I said surface tension before but that's with liquids 
uh, this is tensile strength on a solid so uh, hopefully I didn't confuse anybody <laughs> maybe only the physicists out there anyway that's pretty much a uh, biface now you know when, after a few of those thinning flakes are run across it not very many not very many guys have problems with this shape so I'm going to stop here okay so hope that helped um, if not just leave a comment and I'll try some more difficult pieces okay that's it